Homa Bay governor Cyprian Nawete has survived one of the biggest scares of his leadership. The Supreme Court ruled in his favor. These are the orders of the Supreme Court. The requisite orders flowing from our analysis and findings in this case are as follows. A. The third and fourth respondents' prayer in the notice of motion of the 31st of July 2018, seeking a declaration that the IABC, as currently constituted, is legally competent to conduct a fresh former day gubernatorial election, is hereby disallowed. Two, the third and fourth respondents' alternative prayer that, quote, a declaration be issued that fresh election should only involve candidates who participated in the original Homer Bay gubernatorial election is similarly disallowed. Three, the third and fourth respondents prayer for a declaration that they were duly elected as governor and deputy governor for Homer Bay County is hereby disallowed. Four, the first and second Respondents' course appeal of the 8th of July 2018 is allowed. Five, the petition of appeal dated 23rd July 2018 is allowed. And the appellate court decision of the 19th of July 2018 is set aside in its entirety. The effect being that the election results for Homer Bay County in respect of the offices of Governor and Deputy Governor as declared by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, the first respondent, will stand as the valid position under the Constitution. <laughs> Kwanu kwani 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 uhuru ni nini? Uhuru tonga. Uhuru ni nani o kama ano? Odu otere koso kotere. Odu oke koso kodu oke. Owa chowu otomero wa chango. Aya. Aya. Now that's Governor Witi for you. Witi is a very very funny guy. One of the most generous governors in the countries. In this can in this country. And the fact is, Governor Witi was elected in 2013 due to his generosity. He was known for Harambe's. But something happened along the way, and he has failed the Homer Bay people in terms of development. So a lot of Homer Bay guys believed that Oyugi Magwanga actually defeated him. And the expectations was that the people of Homer Bay were going to go back to the elections. But it it's appear. It, I mean, but from the way it looks, the country is not yet ready for any gubernatorial elections. So Awete has been saved, and that has saved ODM as a party and probably Raila Odinga as the ODM party leader. The 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 the, 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 the idea of going back again to the people to campaign. So my expectation is Governor Awete should use this opportunity now. To at least also create his own legacy so i've compiled for you the the the, the celebrations which have rocked which rocked the supreme court after this verdict and in my view i also think that uyugi magwanga should actually join hands with awete so that they can move home and forward that's what i think for now because after supreme court ruling nothing can happen you can't you can't move to any other court it's the end of the story. So he must just swallow his pride, work closely with Awiti, and wait and try his luck in 2022. So let's listen to, to what happened at the Supreme Court.
grateful to the Supreme Court because it has dealt with certain matters that under the Constitution and in, under the law required elucidation. That is the place and purpose of scrutiny when ordered by the court and the jurisdiction of the uh, Supreme Court and the Court of Appeal. I therefore appeal to the people in Homer Bay that uh, in any contestation there must be a result and uh, we have demonstrated right from the High Court to the Court of Appeal and to the Supreme Court that we are following the lay down procedure, the appellate system in order to arrive at this decision that we have had today from the Supreme Court. It is a very long judgment and I think legal scholars and lawyers are going to find this very, very, very useful. I'm also happy that uh, the Deputy Governor is here and the members of Parliament from Homer Bay are here. But more importantly, I want to thank my colleagues, Hon Honorable Tienda Molo, uh, Honorable uh, uh, Anthony Oloch, who was, there at, who was there at the very beginning, and of course uh, the advocate on rock record, Professor Ogenda. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I must first of all congratulate and thank our competent legal counsel who have walked this journey with us. But representing my governor, Sepri Nawiti, at least our victory has now been endorsed and confirmed. And we only appeal to Homer Bay Count that we are extending a hand of comradeship and hand of working together. We want to work together and we want Homer Bay now to focus for development agenda as opposed to politics. We want politics shunned until 2022. Right now we appeal to everybody, we are willing to accommodate everybody, we will work with everybody who is in Homer Bay. And for that matter we are saying please, let's now focus on our development agenda, which is why we were all elected. And again, on behalf of my governor, Cyprian Nawiti, I once again congratulate our councils who have worked tirelessly. Many times we have given up, but with the encouragement, they reassured us that there were legal issues that if looked at seriously, then the elections should be upheld. And for that, we are grateful. And right now, we want calm, peace in Homer Bay, and let us all focus for development for that great county, the county of choice. Thank you, thank you. That's fine. No, no, no. It's okay. Whose was this? Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Okay.